Welcome back students. Today, we will learn about the factors affecting teaching related to schools and institutions. This will be our last lecture on the factors affecting teaching. So let's begin. Numerous factors affect teaching and schools and institutions are no exceptions. In schools and institutions, young minds spend time with their mates and learn under the guidance of their teachers every day. Every parent dreams that their children can access the best education for personal growth and professional wealth. The importance of educational institutions in our society cannot be overstated. Since our community is backward and requires knowledge and education for development and progress, the role of educational institutions becomes even more remarkable. They are also crucial in shaping our attitudes and preparing us for behaving in a particular manner in a defined situation. They can supply us with instruments by which we can realize our social goals. Educational systems in our society define these goals and values. Hence, educational institutions socialize us into valuable members of the community. Educational institutions also support the selection of future occupations. Their purpose is to provide methods and means of obtaining information about various aspects of life. The individuals select the professions that are most suitable for them. A good school or institute will have fair minded, passionate, honest, well mannered, inspiring, skilled, and supportive mentors who will impact students' attitudes and personalities. A question often arises in people's minds what makes a good school? A high performing school possesses the following characteristics A quality plan and policy of a school matter a lot in teaching and learning. When a school has high expectations and standards for every student, it certainly helps to create a positive teaching and learning environment. Reliable support staff and well-organized service providers play a crucial role in learners' growth. A safe learning and teaching environment in a school is mandatory. Supportive administrators and quality teachers affect the outcome of teaching and learning. A clean and well-organized school premises that are conducive to learning and teaching. In an institute, there should be frequent monitoring of the teaching and learning process helps to evaluate both the quality of teaching and learning. High levels of communication and collaboration are equally important among the institute teachers. So that's all for today. In our next class, we will start a detailed discussion on the methods of teaching and learning. So don't forget to join and subscribe to the channel. If you want every update about the classes, press the bell icon. Thanks for watching and I will see you in our next class.